What's up guys, we're back with another video, this time it's in regards to NVIDIA's uh, GeForce uh, Experience release and GeForce Game Ready Driver. Um, if you haven't just updated your GeForce, I recommend updating it to the uh, latest version of 2.4.5.44. Uh, the release highlights have included a few minor changes that have been applied to this uh, GeForce. One of them is the uh, game stream connectivity improvements uh, for bug fix and, and bug fixes for the uh, Witcher 3. So if you haven't got the game just yet uh, and you're looking to get the game, I would advise uh, updating the NVIDIA GeForce experience along with the latest driver uh, to ensure complete stability throughout the uh, game. Um, and also, the previous version 2.4.5 of this GeForce experience has some bug fixes and quality improvements that were applied to game stream. So if you're using that feature, then that's uh, something I would recommend doing this as that will uh, improve the services for that. Um, and if your laptop is used, uh, does have Optimus enabled onto it, uh, it, it will then be able to uh, do shadow play desktop capture on notebooks now. Uh, now Optimus comes standard with GT, uh, GTX 600 series onwards. Uh, so if you have a card before 600 series, this won't be compatible. So there, there is no reason to upgrade it to the latest in the GeForce experience. But if you do have anything higher than 600 series, I do recommend it. As for the driver itself, it is the Game Ready Driver version 353.06. Uh, the features that have been added into this driver itself are aimed towards the latest gaming title, uh, Heroes of the Storm. So if you have purchased that game or are looking to purchase that game, I would advise upgrading this uh, driver, your graphics card, to the latest driver um, to achieve the best possible gaming experience uh, whilst playing that game. Uh, another feature is the uh, GTX 980 Ti, the latest card that's been released. Uh, it's now fully compatible uh, with this driver so I would advise once again updated that to achieve full performance out of the card itself. Uh, the game also provides some more uh, new features, new gaming features that have been added in which you might benefit from if you have a G-Sync enabled monitor so that technology is now more compatible with this uh, driver release. Uh, Dynamic Super Resolution DSR, uh, now this is only available on 900 series so if you have those cards you will also benefit from this once again and some further enhancements for the uh, latest new titles. Um, also they've added a GeForce Experience one click optimization for the game Heroes of the Storm so if you are experiencing uh, some sort of lag you might want to consider clicking on that to optimize it according to the performance of the card itself um, to achieve best possible uh, frames when you're playing the game uh, itself. Um, and as previously mentioned, G-Sync technology, uh, which is available uh, to specific to G-Sync monitors uh, that you may have, uh, are now you're able to use in windowed mode as well as uh, full screen. Uh, another cool feature that they've added is ultra low motion blur ULMB. Uh, uh, this needs to be enabled under NVIDIA control panel. So if you right click on your desktop and then click on NVIDIA control panel and simply click on manage 3D settings. Uh, this option will be in here and you will be able to enable it. I don't have it as of right now because I haven't updated the card to the latest driver, uh, but you will benefit from that. Uh, I mean, the reason is if you do have, uh, if you do have the um, motion blur enabled uh, within the game settings, sometimes uh, it can cause um, a lot of frame rate rates to drop when you're moving around or, or, or open world uh, maps. So I mean enabling it from the NVIDIA control panel will then have lesser impact on the uh, performance of the card itself. So it won't be, uh, you won't be losing many frames as you would have when you had this enabled within the uh, games, uh, game video options. Um, so I mean this is it uh, for now. Guys I would advise updating the, the driver regardless of um, having that game or not because it will help with some of the uh, previous game titles such as Witcher 3, uh, also uh, GTA 5 if you have those games uh, and overall you, you will achieve overall performance from the car regardless of this. Um, thanks for watching, if there is any questions just leave a comment down below, I'll try to get back to you guys. In the meantime make sure to like and subscribe, peace out.